This is a hands-on demonstration of the 960 grid system. Uh, where this is the 960.gs website. Uh, that's the address there. In case you need to uh, look it up, you can also download all the files here. For this example, however, um, what you can use is you can use the files here on Blackboard um, that are in start.zip. That's all you'll need to follow along with this demonstration here. Okay, so. Um, if we look here on their website, uh, they have a lot of different examples of sites that uh, use the 960 grid system. And so I'm actually going to take uh, one here, this 107 Interactive, and there's our little grid on top of it. And what we're going to do is going to uh, create this grid. And what you have here in the files, let me um, go to the uh, files here for you. Um, is uh, there's some images? This is the logo. This is for the bullets uh, that you see there, uh, and the navigation one. So um, here, let me hide this grid for a second. Um, actually, let's just go to their website. It's going to be a little bit easier. So the images are for this is an image, the logo, this background here um, is an image, and these bullets here are images. So those are the three images that we have. Uh, you notice this is a slight gradient here, this background image uh, that goes there. What this actually is is a very thin, long one that is repeated uh, across that way. But we're not really going to get into the CSS today for this. So I already have sort of done the CSS. We're just going to look at how to add the classes for the grids to turn this into um, the proper, a proper grid system. So that's what we're going to do here. Um, what you can also uh, look at, let's see, uh, is um, there is a 960 uh, Gritter uh, plugin here that's available from the 960 system. So you can use that, um, like I am here, to help you determine um, what is where. So from this is, is, is the way that we figured out for example, uh, that this first piece here, uh, this gets one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight columns. And this is one, two, three, four columns there. This also side here is four columns, but this one is only uh, three columns for that uh, as well. And then this here is also uh, eight columns. So that's essentially what we're going to do is we're going to have to, we're going to define these columns here and this is a little piece that hangs out um, on the on the top as well that uh, we'll take a look we're not going to um, style it's already been styled for us. Uh, so we're going to we want to define these areas here. So there's a few different areas we need to define and set the columns on. And that's essentially what we're going to be doing. If you look at um, your files uh, right now, uh, that you have, you have the those images, you have the CSS files, the 960 CSS, the reset, and then style.css is one that I created to add in all these uh, fonts and, and other things for this site. And then 10.7 example uh, is what you uh, are going to open up and use, and right now it looks like this. All right. And so we want to take it from this into more like that. All right, so uh, we're going to be flipping back and forth between this, and I'm just going to open up in a text editor the HTML document here. All right, uh, so this is the <coughs> excuse me the the uh, HTML document, and we're just going to uh, be sort of flipping back and forth between that and here to see how these things go as we add them in. All right, so going back to our our HTML here, uh, one of the first things to look at is that we've added in our links to our classes there, right? So we have the 960, the reset, uh, and uh, the text files there. And then we are also want to make sure that we add in our style. So um, just to remind you how to do that, uh, link rel equals style sheet href equals style.css. All right, and then um, in terms of the text one here, I left that there for, for a minute just to, to show you guys. This is one of the ones that comes by default, and people use it a lot when they're first starting out. Um, but for now, what I'm actually going to do is comment that out, because we don't need it. Uh, we're adding all the text in through our own CSS 
style sheet there. Okay. So now that we've actually added in our CSS here and taken out that text, we're going to go back and let's take a look at how this changes. So this is what it was before, and now it's going to, um, oops, I need to save that. Okay, and nothing happened. Hmm. Let's take a look at back, back at that again. So if I look back, my error here was I linked right to style.css, but it's all in a CSS folder. So I, the CSS slash style.css. And if we go back to our page here, that's that's what it is. So 10.7 is by itself. You need to go into the CSS folder and then get style.css. And actually text.css isn't even there, so um, even if you keep that text in there, nothing will happen. All right, so let's uh, save that now and go back to our browser and there we go so that's the styled sheet so these are all the styles that I added to add in the various uh, fonts and font sizes and colors and so forth and so this is essentially that page styled uh, but not put out into columns so this is also the other reason I wanted to show this was to show you um, what exactly happens when you put things into columns there so let's uh, go back here. Uh, that this is back to our page, and we're going to go back to the HTML. And I'm going to take a look at uh, what to add in. So the first thing we want to add in is we want to add in a, a container class that goes around everything. And in this case, we have a, a special div for that here. It's given an ID. It's often good to give your divs IDs so you can target them in your styling, uh, but they don't necessarily. Hit, those IDs aren't relating to the grid per se. So we're going to give this a class um, that's going to be container 12, because we're using a 12-column grid. All right, so just adding that class alone there um, into the T7 container uh, div, let's take a look at what happens. So I'm going to refresh the screen here, and there we go. So now it's brought everything in to that 960-pixel width. All right, so that's uh, the first step that we have in it. Let's look at the next step. So after we add the 12 there, now we're going to want to deal with our logo uh, and um, sort of the strap line. So here we go. This lo Remember the logo here? This was eight columns wide. And then this uh, little other piece here is four columns wide. And so we're going to denote that into the HTML. So we go here, and what you'll find is, um, <clears throat> excuse me, um, this social one, by the way, this is that, that little bar at the top. So I'm going to scroll down to T7HDR logo, that div. Tried to give most of these IDs. And we're going to add a class to that, and we're going to add, guess what, a uh, grid 8 class equals grid, and the, the quotes are important by the way, grid 8, underscore 8, because that was 8 columns wide. And then the other one, which is T7 HDR strap, that div, I'm going to class to that equal to grid, I'm in trouble with my eye today, uh, 4. So we added 8 and 4, and then let's take a look and see what happens. So there's the page before it, let's refresh, and there we go. So it's made what the one on the left eight and the other one four columns wide. So we're getting part of the way there. So the next part we want to deal with is on our content. Remember we had uh, two uh, basic areas. We had our main content and our sidebar. Again, the main content was eight columns. The sidebar was four columns. So if we go to the HTML, T7 body content is the content on the left. So I'm going to add that of uh, class of 8. And actually, to save myself some writing, I'm going to copy that from the other one. And we just add here, class 8. Oops, I added extra space by accident. All right, so class is grid 8 um, on the body content. And then this is all that body content in there. I'm going to uh, leave that for now. And then navigation on the right, that's T7 body nav. And so on that one, we add class equals grid 4 again. 
So let's take a look at how that looks. So I refresh that now, and then there we go. So we have our, now our, our also eight columns here. So right, both of those are eight. Now this is four, and that is four, and they're lining up very nicely here. Now the next piece we wanted to do is this about contact and all this stuff here um, on the page. We wanted to sort of have a blank column here, and then they were actually going to be three columns wide. So, <clears throat> excuse me, in order to do that, uh, let's take a look at what we were going to do on the HTML. So one thing that we have um, is that this was called body nav. There was a div around it all, but then we added an extra div called sidebar. And by doing that, it allows us to get a little bit of nesting. So just to sort of draw it out here, um, we have the the top part, then we had uh, that, this was 8 and 4, and then we had our main content, which was also 8, and the side, which was 4. Uh, but then to get this other piece here, basically we're adding in another div, so we could have this one that's 3, uh, with that one column space on the side. And so that is what this sidebar one is, it's for this div over here. The T7 body nav was for the main div um, on all of them. Okay, so um, let's take a, a closer look at that. Uh, T7 sidebar. Uh, now we want this to be uh, class equals, we want it to be three columns wide, so that's grid three. Now let's just look at what happens if we just do that. So we'll go back here to the page and refresh it. So it's great, actually. We get the three column width, but we have a blank column on the right because it was three out of four. So we want that on the left. So in order to do that, we're going to use our prefix class. And prefix adds in blank columns before something. And we say prefix one because we want one blank column before this. And so I refresh that, and there we go. We get the prefix um, one column before that. And essentially, there we are. Um, we have now our design that looks almost exactly like this design here. And you can tell the difference right now because I have the gritter on one and not on the other. There's a few little things that I've uh, changed and, and, uh, and modified some spacing and things like that just in the style sheet as I was going over. But basically, uh, that's it there. We have our columns done out.